good morning to all dear students today we have a topic which is a very important from a forensic point of view to what happens after death because as you know every human on earth has to die but at times when there are unnatural deaths or death due to any other human interference animals mishaps accidents then question of time since death becomes very important and in time since death we can see certain parameters or changes in the body after death so this lecture will concentrate on the changes changes in the body after death so as the topic is confined to early and late post mortem changes immediate are insensibility and loss of voluntary power you might have observed in casualties or in your surroundings ki when a person is in deep coma or dead this is not responding to the painful stimuli the painful stimuli are given by a different ways and there is a limping of body suddenly the person has no control over his muscles and the body limps and fall down and in whatever situation it is if it is a standing he will fall down if he is sitting he will just bend on the sides or bend in front then suggestion of respiration as we commonly absorb the respiration is very essential to maintain life one of the essential ingredients once there is a suggestion a stoppage of a respiration and it is not coming for 5 minutes or more then we consider the person has a respiratory arrest or his respiration has ceased suggestion of circulation as you know heart is on a 24 hours duty <clears throat> to pump the blood into the body but after death there is a suggestion of circulation the pumping action has gone blood is not circulated in the vessels so there becomes a stagnation of the blood a stoppage of circulation there is no circulatory movement so these are the different methods once a person is coming to casualty usually we look for the respiratory rates we give resuscitative measures and see the flat ecg to confirm the person is really dead the body becomes paler pale in look there is a loss of uh, elasticity of the skin the skin loses it you can say normal texture or normal appearance and changes in the eye as you know the normal pressure from 14 to 25 but the death it is around 12 and if we if a person is a dead for more than 1 hour or so it becomes about 
so by measuring pressure we can estimate ki yes person is no more and even in eyes there is a if eyes are open there is opacity of cornea it become hazy and in after sometimes if it is a case of a open eyes this becomes very hazy and opaque but in early phases it is quite transparent and on basis of that the eye donation is being practiced the for certain hours like 4 to 6 hours or maximum up to 24 hours the cornea may be used for uh, transplantation purposes under human organ transplantation act then primary uh, in eyes there is another changes ki when the eyes open deposition of debris on its scalera initially it is a streak like thing then dust is deposited on it it becomes more prominent and this phenomena is called tachinuri tachinuri t e c h e n o i r primarily flaccidity of muscles immediately after death all muscles of the body are flaccid so body can be molded it into any posture so the criminals use this posture of initial phases put the bodies in bags suitcases or in a particular posture to dump the bodies to conceal the crimes the person has no control over his muscles the next change is cooling of the body as you know body is initially having a normal temperature then it has to come to the level of the atmospheric temperature and after 2 hours or so it becomes a like a normal atmospheric temperature but it depends on condition of the body clothing environmental geographical locations as you know in forensic we do not find bodies as in a clinical cases the bodies comes from drains forest and dumping grounds and burial so it changes the cooling but roughly one can say ki like rough estimate can be given ki this is the time since death and there are certain formulas which are given in every textbook you are reading next becomes the post mortem staining the post mortem staining after death what happens ki the blood is stop stopped it is present in the vessels so is gravitate towards the gravity and whichever part is approaching the earth or gravity has the appearance of a post mortem staining and next comes the rigor mortis in rigor mortis it is called stiffening of the body ki like body becomes stiff like you cannot bend it you can mold it so it is very stiff and uh, these are the major early parameters which are being used for estimating time since death and to note the death 
certain science. The later science are putrefaction, decomposition, like all proteins, carbohydrates, fats, they are lysed and decomposed and they have to mix with the earth. Then adipose leaf formation is the wax formation and mummification is the drying up of the body in certain circumstances. We now move on to certain details. Like all of you must be knowing ki what are the objectives of medical legal post-mortem examination. One foremost very important is determine the cause of death. Second becomes the identification and third is the description of injuries or features Injuries, distribution, are they consistent with the history? Reconstruction of an event when no eyewitnesses are available. Accept or refute an eyewitness account. Disease, underlying conditions contributed to death. Injuries, are they anti-mortem or post-mortem in nature? Collection of trace material because it provides the last opportunity to collect evidences from the body. So it's very important and to know ki what evidences should be collected. Then wealth of information, benefits of the society, benefit of the society, what diseases are prevailing, like nowadays the COVID deaths are very, com very common in every country. So there are certain pathological changes, certain histopathological findings and virology is being conducted to know the nature, more details you can say. And in crimes, like in a particular area, firearm injuries are more common. In another area, the sharp weapon uses are very, very common. Or, or drug abuse cases. So these are the pockets actually, which tells ki what crime is more prevalent in that particular society or particular section of the society. So these are the main objectives of conducting postmortem. Now time since death, time since death when this person died, especially when the bodies are recovered late, there is a disparity in the eyewitnesses or sequencing of events then it becomes very important. When did this person die? The methods which are used to estimate are time since death are rigor mortis, <coughs> postmortem staining, cooling of body, decomposition, environmental factors, mummification, skeletonization, decomposition in different settings and best time of a death estimate and to fill up the form of deaths, okay, different forms which are given by WHO, how to fill up those forms. Now rag mortis. As I told, this is stiffness of muscles due to lactic acid and exhaustion of ATPs. When you know in the muscles mainly, actin and myosin combination is there and ATP is essentially required to maintain the function of a muscle. So when the ATP level 
goes down by 15%, then body becomes stiff. Like the example which is given here, a body is put on two stools, but is not bending, it is very straight, without any support to the back part, so it shows stiffness of the body and the rigor mortis is fully formed. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it reaches maximum it starts about one hour you can say earlier in a smaller muscles in larger muscles it can be appreciated in two to four hours after that <coughs> sorry and reaches maximum in 12 hours and begins to fade by 12 18 to 24 hours after death. In cold countries, like not very cold, but temperature below you can say 20, it follows the rule of 12. Like for developing, it takes about 12 hours, then it start fading by 24 hours and disappears by 36 hours. But in temperate countries like India, we have different geographical variations. Sometimes we have the hilly area like Kashmir, there is the ice, then we have the seas, then the plains where the temperature humidity is very high. So we must know and consider the geographical and environmental factors. And one thing should be very clear, time since death is always approximate. It is not exact pinpointing like 8 hours, 20 minutes, 30 seconds, no. It is rough estimate to guide the investigation and it has to be correlated with the circumstances. Now postmortem staining. Settling of blood in body due to gravity develops two to four hours after after death occurs, it is non-fixed. Non-fixed means it can shift, blanchable. If you put a pressure, it will go away. But after, and initially it was in a small patches like radish patches. Then in, uh, you can say, three to four hours, there are bigger patches, there are confluent, postmortem staining is there. And by six to eight hours, it is fully formed and almost fixed. Fixed means ki if you move the body, it will still persist in that particular area. So medical legal importance is that ki like body has been shifted after death or turned after death and how much time after death or this is the original position, or if you find a postmortem staining at two places, one at a, a light and one is a heavy one, like a, a dark, so the one can estimate, yes, body has been turned or body has been shifted. As when there is a stagnation of blood, a small capillaries break down and become porous. So there is a breakdown of the blood vessels after death and looks like a small bruises, a small pinpoint hemorrhages to large hemorrhages called petechial hemorrhages or tardio spots. Like in the cases in hanging, a person is being in a hanged position for more than six to eight hours, so you will find there is a dark staining, bluish dark staining in the lower limbs tips, 
the lower part of the body and after some time the, you can see the tardive spots so that indicates ki how long this person had been in hanging position like this is the post mortem staining like you can see this is the and this is the blanched area means the body contact surfaces are not showing the post mortem staining because there is a pressure other parts which are loose you can appreciate post mortem staining this is a victim of a strangulation which has found in a room and in a particular position with the face up so you can appreciate post mortem staining over the dependent parts of the body except contact areas so this is an example now another like this person is female body and using the brasserie or a bra so you can see the clear marks ki where the bands of the clothing putting a pressure over the body so post mortem staining is not appreciated now post mortem cooling post mortem cooling of the body normal body temperature usually is considered as 98.6 or plus minus 1 you can say and not on a higher side the multiple variables of it is also known as algar mortis is depending on body dimensions fat body lean body thin body the posture of the body kill yes what is the posture of a particular body in a clo clothing like in winter you have lot many multiple layers of clothing in summers we have a very thin clothing or a cotton clothing then ambient temperature atmospheric and air movement like it's a open area the air movement is more but in uh, closed spaces there there is no hardly any air movement so in terms of environmental temperature on post mortem decomposition is there like this is a normal calm sigmoid type of a calm which is being formed see so these are the experimental uses but unfortunately what happens when the bodies are brought to the forensic department or to the morgue so the time since death has lapsed uh, and uh, like these uh, estimation of cooling these are important in initial phase later on this becomes irrelevant and the cooling sometimes is more rapid in a cold atmosphere and sometimes there may be higher temperature if a person has died due to heat pyrexia or so that's why after 2 hours it starts becoming or coming to the atmospheric temperature but it may vary now post mortem decomposition means disintegration of the body there are two processes of decomposition or disintegration one is the autolysis breakdown of the cells and vessels by its own system of the body like lipases you know you know in normal body the membranes are providing resistance for invasion of these enzymes but after death this is not there so the body tissues automatically start autolysing so that is the one way second is putrefaction 
bacterial proliferation of the body which produces gas blotting the proliferation of the bacteria you know when the body has its own resistance in normal and so many bacteria are present in the gut but they hardly get an opportunity to produce its effects but in dead body when resistance is not there there is a porosity between the cells also and the cell membrane is not effective so what happens that there is a gas leakage and the bacteria multiply because they get a food material and so that's why you will see blotted bodies or disfigured bodies and after a particular time that becomes very difficult to identify whether he is the same person or not then insect activities you see during the decomposition process you might have seen the movies on nature or animal scavenging ki there are certain bacteria or certain insects which find their food and shelter in dead tissues so that is utilized for estimating time like you see ki after 4 6 hours in summers little early the flies are attracted to the dead body and they lay eggs also so that is sometimes you will find larvae or maggots in the body then animal sca- scavenging like jackals dogs crows eh? kites these are the people who like dead animals so they are the scavenging animals and a different phases that this is an example a person decomposed body was recovered you can see his abdomen is blotted the blotting is more prominent over face abdominal areas and the later on it can be seen in the limbs usually in limbs it's less appreciated is less present but in abdomen and face it is more prominent you can see even a think person may appear fat by this decomposition and collection of the gases and like this is like bacteria when they penetrate tissue or the gas penetrate tissues you can see the earliest sign of decomposition is a greenish discoloration in right iliac fossa uh, you can appreciate the greenish discoloration in comparison to the other parts of the body this is the usually considered as a earliest sign of a decomposition though other signs in a oropharynx are little more earlier but appreciable externally so this is greenish discoloration big of ah. this is another form the blister formation post mortem blisters you can see lot many blisters are coming up after that because there is a slippage of the skin this is a post mortem slippage of skin and these are the blister this is a slippage the skin is you can say rotten and it's given away this is you can see a big blister around the thigh and blister formation post mortem blister and the blurring of the features of the face like leaks are aborted purging of the fluids from the body eyes are soft and lying on the back 
in the sockets tissues are damaged or you can see decomposed so face is blotted so this it becomes uh, like uh, it produces difficulty in identification of a human being after a certain stage like this is a closer view you can appreciate the softened eyeballs both side blister formation and decomposition of the tissue here this is like we are estimating height by this longer scale and this is the peeling of the skin you see this is the peeling of the skin even the hairs also 3 5 days after 3 5 days you will find the falling of hairs and the body will be bald you know the all hairs will fall from the different areas now, this is called marbling the vessels when they are stained due to decomposition of the blood so you will find the marbling of the tissue this is again a body recovered from a drowning and is a dry froth you can see the dried up froth so in decomposition when a body is in water the decomposition is not as faster as on earth but as soon as it is taken out from the water the decomposition is very rapid and there is a discoloration of a skin and purging of fluids so in diatoms and all are taken if a body is alive respiratory tract is examined for the bacterial flora for the vegetable flora and for the diatoms in the drowning cases to confirm antimortem drowning this is again a drowning case and recovered after some time you can see this is again a staining of the marbling blistering of the areas this is uh, when a body is recovered after decomposition from a sewage or a drain you can find very disfigured and decomposed body sometimes may be present in uh, pieces like it is a dismembered body which is being disposed of after killing this is again you see this is a cut throat wound they clearly appreciated but there is a decomposition and loosening of teeth after 5 to 7 days the, there is a loosening of teeth the teeth will fall and can be taken out easily this is the shrunken eyeball this is the now this is the when gases are formed body is blotted then the stage of liquefaction comes liquefaction this gas will go away body will collapse and tissues will be liquefied in a different phases not all together this is again showing the stab wound in a decomposition like one should not be discouraged if a decomposed body has been brought for post-mortem examination because meticulous examination can give you the cause of death if you examine after cleaning and examining the body yes like in this particular case one can appreciate the stab wound and it correlate with the other wounds and they can track the wound so it's always important to look for the causes in which cause the death of this person so in cases of a like to conceal crime the bodies are disposed of in drains in water bodies buried burnt but as a forensic man or practicing forensic doctor 
should not avoid these no, this is the falling of hair the falling of the jaw is being separated the dentition the photography is very important in forensic because this remains as an evidence it can be produced later on it can be correlated also the case may be reviewed so the photographic evidence are utmost so this tells you the age of the person what could be the possible age of the person as all of you must be knowing okay there are 32 teeth and there is a sequence of eruption so by this one can say like you can see all three molars and one can see the caries also in the molars like in our country there is no dental record of the people but in foreign countries where there is a dental record and all findings are noted so it becomes helpful in identifying the person yes now for identification nowadays dna profiling is the one of the absolute <coughs> method like this mandible is been separated <coughs> oh, sorry <coughs> uh, due to decomposition like but still the joints larger joints are together and slowly they will also get separated in due course of time now stages of decomposition initial decay 0 to 3 days Puter it varies on temperature and environment and geographical location putrefaction 3 to 10 days black putrefaction where where the body becomes blackish is 10 to 20 days the butyric putrefaction that is a fat kind of a putrefaction fat get decomposed then dry decades dry decades mean when it is body is nice all soft tissue is gone has disappeared then how it is going to behave this is an experimental picture and from a farmhouse which experiments decomposition of the body is experimental one like initially this has died and this is a blotting stage you can find the blotting stage is there here the insects are being interacted attracted and you can find the maggots in the particular body now the body has collapsed only remnant parts are there. You will find hair, nails, bones, which are little resistant to decomposition. Like this is the decomposition of patients who are having gangrene or died due to septicemia. Like you can see the postpartum blisters on the dependent parts. Now this is again marbling, as I told you. This is the marbling. These veins and all are having a stain and more prominent and there is a slippage of the skin thus decomposes skin now in insects <coughs> like in flies we can find eggs larvae then pupa and the adult these are the major you can say stages like this particular body was recovered in Delhi near Lodi police station or uh, Lodi road railway station and it was lying in bushes for months together and nobody noticed but once the body was recovered and brought for postmortem examination so one can see the condition and you can see the maggots still my body is totally decomposed and there are beads of the garland or necklace which she was wearing and there are a certain cutting of the tissues of the area like a, the tissues destroyed and there were cuts like drowning case as I told you dried frogs 
and there are injuries. Sometimes what happens on the roadside where the water body, the rivers or she shore is there. Accident happens and the person is being hit or killed. So just to conceal the crime and to get away from the incident, they throw the body in water bodies. But if we examine the injuries and other fractures which can correlate with the, like this is a fractured foot and the person had an accident, was dumped in the water body. Now these are the forensic flies of or insects of importance. Like initially you get house fly, then you uh, flash flies and then flash flies are especially very shiny. You can see greenish, bluish flies which automatically have a very strong smell power and are attracted to the body you can see. And you might have seen on the fruit juice, juice shops also, there are not many flies which are called fruit flies. House flies, fruit flies, then green bottle, blue bottles, these are the common. After that beetles are there. Beetles when the, uh, there are different phases, eight phases of insects which are attracted. Like this is a body which has been eaten away by animals. When a body is in forest, the body may be eaten up by the animals like dogs, jackals and whosoever is there, especially the scavenging animals. So the ex meticulous examination of the tissues can differentiate that these are the postmortem wounds produced by the animals an animal bite, like dog bites and, and other bites, the canine animals are having a particular pattern. Like these are the stages, eggs, larva, sometimes the larva is in a three stages, first instar, second instar and third instar, then pre-pupa, pupa and adult fly. Usually the time is very variable like three to four weeks, even one to two months also, it takes depending on how they are coming. Identification is very important issue. Nowadays, if we have any bony tissue from which the DNA can be extracted, that is the best way of a DNA profiling. But in cases, other parameters are also useful because in forensic you get different types of bodies. One is the intact bodies, putrefied bodies, burnt bodies, bodies after disintegration, skeletonization remain, deliberate mutilation and parts of the human remains only. You find one or two bones. Like this particular man had a fractured cavity. So he was identified by this fracture, by his relatives. Yes, he had a fracture, the correlation. Like this, this has overriding teeth. <coughs> so with the teeth pattern, the person was identified. Uh, but you see the facial features are blurred because the personal effects, the clothing, having any material in the pockets like eye card, plastic card. So this becomes very helpful and beside this the certain body features or peculiarities in the body. Like this is a burnt body. The girl was raped and murdered and was burnt in the car. So here the DNA profiling in a deeper tissue, especially the paraspinal tissues or around the bones so this becomes very important. So never get discouraged even if a dismembered or a burnt body is there. Like body get rusted when there are the burn incidents. Like it is a worker recovered from a factory fire and he was sleeping and just died in the sleep. You can see the suit deposition. He did not have the opportunity. Uh, and was suffocated and died. Animals sometimes they feed themselves on the body tissues 
and you can see the how disfigured it is there and on one mischievous man like this is a, another showing case showing the animal scavenging this is another like kites they are particular in gozing out the eyes especially in forest and you can see the animal bites animal bites and you can see the beak like crow they put the marks like this but the person died due to strangulation and you can see the strangulation mark in the neck very clearly and prominent <coughs> this is the by animals gozing of the eyeballs so again by the different bites uh, sometimes bodies are killed people are killed and left as such in the premises like this girl was in a living relationship with one boy one day he murdered her and left and the room was locked so like for three months when the rent was not received the landlord saw okay there is no movement in this particular flat so he called the police and this was the lock was cut and you can see the undergarments blood stained bedding and this was the girl like he was killed by a smothering and a strangulation and was found in this particular position even legs were tied hands were tied and this just been sometimes these materials are also useful there was used condoms and in this condoms the one got dried up the tissue paper from which the dna was extracted and person could be positively identified this is the condom wrapper of uh, like a three condom wrapper in the body so everything becomes important in medical legal cases like even the ligature mark is still prominent in a decomposed body this is a method of preservation of the uh, uh, ligature mark tying it and then after tying the both ends then cut it so this is the way how to measure and how to preserve this is just to show you can see the hands are tied and uh, this is important like you can see the rice particles in this particular uh, scenario the rice particles it means ki like whatever the last meal it remained partly digested you see after death there is no digestion only like decomposition or, or can happen so and there is a bill also in the room of the food bill on this particular day the food was ordered and it was matching with the contents after examining with the magnifying glass so it was correlating so anything can be helpful in estimating time since death like newspapers uh, last meal taken digestion conditions yeah. so these are all important which should be noted very like this is a buried body or a skeletonized body this is like a dumped body like in a particular case the skeleton was removed but still on the clothing one can appreciate the sharp weapon injuries sharp weapon cuts you can say this was the bundle of bones even the person was wearing underwear in the pelvic bones like these are the cuts clearly appreciated in the synthetic material these are the even on a face also the cuts by the sharp weapon are appreciated so it helps in estimating like this person this is the like underwear and around the pelvic bones so this helps in estimating or telling the cause of death this is like when we find a dismembered skull these are the maggots and larva of the flies like this person was killed and you can see the dismemberment and cutting of this particular area out of a sexual jealousy his male organs were cut even the ureter is visible 
so this is just uh, these are the postmortem animal marks like a dogs and all and he was eaten by the pigs also the pig also disappeared this he was dismembered by decapitating so this indicates like and these are the egg, eggs of the flies which have been deposited on the cut area so it becomes very important now this particular case is very unique they have both husband and wife were living together and something wrong happened in the relationship so what happened the husband killed the woman and hanged himself means murder suicide this is a local case of delhi but uh, the body was again recovered in the summer and the incident happened in the winter as the person is uh, you can say the full uh, sleeves woolen and a uh, winter clothing and this was the luggage from he hanged it had broken in due course of time and uh, this was the particular position you can see the intact hairs but the whole top soft tissue has gone and you can see find the luggage of the hanging material which is also decomposed but you can see the woolen sweater this was the female she was killed by strangulation and here she was lying and there was a luggage mark that also decomposed in due course so this was the appearance but still you can appreciate luggage mark right in a decomposed body all soft tissue is almost gone but some is left and long hairs and you can identify the female body even the uh, nail polish were visible on a certain part this is a dismembered female body you can a post mortem dismemberment disposed of at a different sites in delhi and were recovered then examined there was the girl and she was killed but one particular thing is there there is a destruction of a nose and the nose cutting and superseded by the decomposition changes like honor killing where the honor this was the after collecting all the parts <laughs> and putting them in an anatomical position all matching so conditions affecting putrefaction temperature <clears throat> is very important because you know in temperature one of our jawan was recovered from himalaya after 30 years belonging to the haryana state but he still was having the plastic i card identity card so he was identified and his body was well intact in buried uh, like ice then moisture where rain is there temperature is there atmosphere is humid then the decomposition is faster air circulation the like open air or like in a closed spaces clothing what clothing say person is wearing multi layer clothing single layer clothing manner of burial like criminals usually bury very superficially but the persons who are buried properly are usually having a 6 ft 5 to 6 ft deep graves age sex condition of the body like a person is ill healthy cause of death ki how he had been killed like by decapitation by stabbing by hanging or mutilation of the body the body has been cut into different parts or disfigured then putrefaction in water usually in water a body decomposes in air twice as rapidly as in water and eight times as rapidly in earth like one ratio to and then eight this is called casper dictum in putrefaction kill this is the way ki like how many times it like when a buried body the less accessible to the air and all 
so no insect activities excepting the inside insects so this is the way scrutinization when the whole body is present as a bones earliest when the soft tissue destruction is there and uh, animals are there or the body is uh, dismembered it may take 5 to 6 weeks but usually it takes 6 months to 1 year one year is uh, mainly for a joint disarticulation up to one year you six months to one year you can get the bo long bones well united with their uh, tendons and soft tissue is a uh, soft tissue may not be there but tendons are there and they are but this are articulated separated after one year or so broken two to four years then a broken withering withering of the withering when the bone start decomposing destroying getting destroyed and decay after 10 to 12 hours but it depends like in acidic medium you may find for decades and in alkaline like in arabic countries even after many decades the body may be intact a skeleton may be found because there is no water and water is less temperature is very high and it can dry up then adipocere adipocere is a wax like formation this is a like you can say a decomposition of fatty tissues of the body and it forms like a wax the fatty tissues of the body changing into wax like substances due to hydrolysis and hydrogenation of existing fat and it get converted into higher fatty acids which combine with the calcium and ammonium ions to insoluble salts the process starts under influence of lipases and bacteria of the clostridia group and 3 weeks in summers and more in winter and it depends on the body fat content of the person also and it may be present in a different parts in a different way like in a face chest or a different time durations it may come up mummification that is we call it dehydration or drying or shriveling up of the cadaver occurs from a evaporation of water but natural appearances of body and facial features are preserved like egypt mummies are very popular we also have in calcutta one mummy the features are very preserved though they are tissues are dry leathery in look and brown dark brown warm air absence of moisture and tongue time varies for a few days to months together depending on the temperature biological material preservation when we have the intact body we have anything at our disposal we can take any fluid any tissue but in dead bodies we mainly get uh, bones or you can say uh, surrounding clothings and collection